Hi, today we're uh, on our series of solar hot water stations that we manufacture here at Sun Earth. The uh, one we're um, highlighting today is the Solar Ray AC. And the unit is here. What the so Solar Ray AC is, it's a solar hot water station that uses um, propylene glycol as the heat transfer fluid to the roof. What that allows for is no um, freeze condition, so it's, it can go anywhere in the country um, and not have a problem with freezes. Uh, the station is built here, tested here, ready to ship when, um, when it's finished and tested. You, you order it as a solar hot water station. What it, this is the completed unit. It's a little convoluted. We're not going to go into that, but we will touch on all the parts. The main part is the tank for the station, 80 gallon or 120. Um, there's a pump station that will come through the cover, and that's the pump station. It's kind of the heart of the unit. And then we have the solar control on the side, electronic control. And then we have various plumbing. We have an expansion tank and some valving. So I'm going to Start with the tank. It's 80 gallon or 120. Has a wraparound heat exchanger, so there's no um, the heat exchanger transfers the, the heat into the water of the tank, which is 80 gallons. Um, the so the tank is placed in your mechanical room or a garage or wherever outside in an enclosure. This is all needs to be enclosed. The second part of this system is I'm going to focus. Is the pump station again? It comes. It comes with a cover. You saw me remove it. This insulated cover. And quite a few parts with this. What it what it comes with is two thermometers. It comes with the pump, three speed pump. It comes with fill valves to charge it with the glycol. It comes with a flow meter and a flow setter, so you can set the flow rate. Um, on this main body, it comes with an air separator that allows you to get it, uh, take air out of the system once you've charged it. That's a, it allows you to remove any uh, uh, residual air. These valves turn, so they're isolatable. Uh, both the, these are to and from the roof. Uh, it's, it, then on the side it has a uh, pressure gauge to tell you what the pressure of the fluid is in the system. It has another the charge valve here. It has the pressure relief in case that's for safety. The pressure relief will open. Now where that pressure relief, if you look on the tank, it's right here. It's connected to a drain pipe. So that goes, and, and if, it, if it were to open, the fluid would drain down to the floor, a safe area, or to a drain. So that's what these little plastic pipes are. Um, this is all one unit. It's um, all complete. We, um, we plumb it on, we mount it onto the tank and attach it to the two ports on the tank that are connected to the heat exchanger. And then these two pipes from here up go to the roof. So that's something that the installer puts in once this tank is set. The other item that's connected to this pump station is the expansion tank, which is there. And while we're talking about it, 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 it connects through a tube here. So that's the connection from, again, here's the main station. It connects from this little port here to the expansion tank. What's an expansion tank? Um, it's, this is a cutaway. It's like a shock absorber for your car. It's, it expands. There's a bladder in here, and it expands and contracts with temperature changes in the fluid. So it doesn't allow the fluid to go over pressure. As you heat the fluid, it expands, it changes volume. This takes up that expansion so you have a safe system. We have two of them in the system. One is for the glycol, for the, for the solar loop. And the other one's back behind the tank here that's used for the water here, hot water system. So again, it does the same purpose. It prevents the uh, expansion when the tank gets hot, when that 80 gallons or 120 gallons of water gets hot, 
it prevents it from um, opening your uh, relief valves uh, prematurely on the tank. So these are very important to have. Um, the pump station, again, is mounted to the tank. This is all connected. Um, Plumbing-wise, we test it. There's a, a drain at the bottom, and then there's a fill. There's another kind of fill valve here we put on so that uh, it allows you to, to fill it in a couple of different ways. Again, we have directions in our manual for all this. The, other, the next item that we have on the tank is the controller. It's a better view. It's a digital control. Uh, the, pump, the pump station plugs into the bottom. So there's no electrical wiring to do between the pump, pump station and the controller. And then the controller has a, about a seven foot cord on it that you, find, you have an outlet. That's one thing you do need is a 110 outlet for this. So this is an electronic controller. It tells you the temperatures of the, the roof. It tells you the temperature at the bottom of the tank. And then there's a third sensor that tells you the top of the tank temperature. So that's all uh, essentially um, viewable by pushing the, there's a down arrow, you just push it and it scrolls through, it just changes the menu, but it's a, it's a merry-go-round, it's just round and around, and it does, you just, that's all you have to do with this controller, is just, for most purposes, is just press the down arrow, it scrolls through all the temperatures and you're done. So this is an electronic, it uses uh, high quality stainless steel and platinum coated sensors, that one's on the roof again. One's on the roof, one's in the tank, and then one's on the top of the tank. And it's all wired for you. It's all tested here, all the electrical. All you have to do is plug the controller into a standard 110 outlet, and then you run the wire from the roof sensor and hook it up to the controller, and then you're done. Um, the the um, so that's essentially the glycol solar part. The water part of this is the 80 gallons that's in here. It heats up with the sun. And then we, we have it usually uh, set uh, for 140 to 150 degrees. If the sun can do it, it may only do 90. It may do 150, depends on the time of year. But when that water, you don't want 150 degrees coming out of your fixture. So what, what is installed on top of this tank is it's what's called a, a tank booster, uh, and what, a mixing valve. And what it does, it mixes the hot and the cold uh, water and blends it. So what you have here is a little thermometer. This is the plumbing side. The thermometer tells you what the mixed temperature is coming out. And that's what's going to your, your um, fixtures. It's maximum 130. Um, usually it's plus or minus, usually it's on the 128, 127. That's so you don't scald yourself. So that's all plumbed into the system on top. In addition to that, you'll see some of these stainless connectors. They're just water connectors, standard water connectors that we use to hook up the, hook up the tank. And these valves, that allow, there's valves on the system and we have directions, they allow you to to bypass this tank um, if you need to service it. So um, if you feed, this tank feeds like an electric or gas water heater tankless, you can bypass it and um, service the tank, whatever you have to do, and still have hot water if you're on your primary heater. Um, the, other, the, the other thing with this tank, the system of solar AAC, it has an element, electric element, and a, and a thermostat, 240 volts, that's it. This is your only water heater. And what that is, is if you've never seen it, it's an element that's immersed in the tank and it screws in and seals. And then it has a thermostat that's set right in this access cover. And you wire this to the 240, that's an electrician's job. Um, and then you set this, there's a, it goes from 110 to 170. Usually you leave it at 130 or some people have a little higher. You can change it, uh, uh, you can raise it up a little bit. No higher than 150 normally. Um, this, these components, uh, especially for the tank, are covered in the use and care manual that comes with this tank. 
So there's a specific manual for the tank, and then on our, on, which is on our website. Then we also have all of the documents for the tank. We have an operations and maintenance manual, kind of gives you a little more information on the system. We have a couple of other spec sheets, and then we have a manual for the for the uh, solar array AC system. Again, this is a pressurized glycol system. Generally, um, well, the advantage is you install it, you hook up the potable water, and then your potable side, that's the stuff that comes, the water comes out of your fixtures, and that part is done, and it's all, um, all tested, and then the installer installs the solar panel piping from here up, and then he has uh, he usually he or she usually charges it with with propylene glycol to uh, the proper pressure and mixture, and then you're all ready for you know the summer, winter, spring, and fall conditions. Um, it's very reliable. Um, you know, the, depending on the area you live in, uh, glycol. You know, somebody it's like changing your oil, kind of, but not every, you can do it every five years. So. It's not like oil changes in a car, but it, there is a maintenance to it with any of our systems. There's a little bit of maintenance. You can do it or um, a technician can come out and do it. There's um, depends on what they're, you know, and some of them have program service every year or two. Um, you can call when you want a service, but again, it's all pre-plumbed um, and wired at the factory. You don't have to worry that it um, hasn't been tested or it's going to leak because it's, we completely test them here. Uh, it saves time. You don't have to put all this together, find all the parts and uh, test it. And, and you know, if you have a leak, then you have to take it apart and fix the leak. So it's all done for you. It saves a lot of time. Um, and if, you know, just. Earthquake straps are in California or seismic areas. Some other states are requiring them. Hawaii and others, but they would go around these tanks. That's something you put in as far as the code, but the system's all ready to go. Um, the only things you need are the glycol, propylene glycol, that's purchased by the installer, and then the panels and the piping. That, that Those items are not part of the solar station. This, this tank, Again, the tank, the pump station, which you see it's plumbed to the tank, and then this is how they come to us. And we and they have a three-speed pump, air separator, flow meter, charge valves, pressure gauge, safety valve, all that's included. It's all expansion tanks and all pressure valves. I think that's it.